And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the blue corner at five foot four, weighing in at 125 and three quarter pounds. As a professional, five wins, just one defeat, fighting out of North Plainfield, New Jersey, presenting Muna, the Perfect Storm Harlan. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Keith Peterson. A Bellator fight in the women's flyweight division. Michelle Old versus Muna Hollins. Old is in the black trunks. Holland is in the black and pink trunks. Moments away from the bell to start this fight. Old wants to get it to the ground. Holland wants to keep it standing. It's as simple as that. Ma'am, are you ready? Ma'am, are you ready? Fight! Round number one. I like referee Keith Peterson. Ma'am, are you ready? <laughs> I was ready? about to say that. I love that. He usually says, sir, are you ready? Tonight's clock is brought to you by NBA 2K13, executive produced by Jay-Z. In stores October 2nd, rated E for everyone. Luna Holland just trying to walk down. Michelle Old. Because her hips low, she's ready for that takedown. Old said, my takedowns come from my clinch. She's in the clinch now. Let's see what she can do. Nice turn by Holland. Holland really respects the cage work of Michelle Old. Upper cut, counter knees by Old. Going for the hip toss. Going for the head and arm, but if you don't get it, you're in trouble. She got it. Full well, mount full achieved. Mount. Big elbow strike. Holland trying to look for a backdoor exit, can't find it, and she's fully mounted by Michelle Old. Let me go with the left hand. Short, sharp hammer fist thrown by Old. Fantastic start to this fight for Michelle Old. Holland trying to throw from the bottom, close guard, open guard, close guard. Holland went a little crazy on top and lost her hip positioning. It's a mistake you can't make in MMA. You can't go nuts with the strikes and lose full mount. Holland repositions her ankles back to close guard. Holding it just above her Watch opponent, Michelle Old waistline. Open guard now from Holland, then to, to the close guard. Holland trying to throw from the bottom, but she does not want to play a grappling game against Michelle Old. She's looking for a way to get back to her feet. Short, sharp right hands by Old in this top position, then the left and the right. Still punching from her back, Jimmy. Yeah, but she's not getting the space she needs to land. Really effective ground and pound. She doesn't want to let Yuna Holland up, so she's keeping a lot of pressure on her. But got to raise up to land effective ground and pound. See here, Yuna Holland controlling that wrist, looking for that triangle. Nice right hand. They're trying to get through with the right hand. Now the left. That was nice. Holland still trying to defend out of closed guard. Head and her shoulders pressed against the base of the Bellator cage fence. More strikes from the top from Old, trying to be relentless in this top position. She's staying very busy. Now, Mina Holland still looking for that triangle. She's controlling the right wrist of Old. This is exactly the kind of fight Old wanted. On the ground, on top, unloading, working her ground and pound. That's what she said, Michelle Old. I want to get past Muna Holland's hands and get it to the ground. That's just what she did. Right now, no excuse for the referee to stand this up. She's very, very busy. All set up by the partial head and arm throw of Michelle Old. Not fully executed, but enough to take down Muna Holland. Shortly thereafter, Old achieved full mount. That's a dangerous throw in MMA. You don't get it, your opponent takes you back. Ayoto Sakurai Takanori Gomi for the Pride fans. Yeah, great stuff from Michelle Holt. She's staying busy. She keeps throwing. She's keeping Yuna Holland jammed up against the fence. Not a whole lot of attempt to guard pass by Michelle Old. She's content to stay on top and do damage. That's what you want to do in MMA. Big difference between MMA, Jiu Jitsu. And regular jujitsu, man. The guard pass. It's a much smaller part of the game. 
Well, still trying to land shots to the head. Trying right. to alternate with some shots to the body. They are right in front of us. Michelle Old, I like that posture. Coming straight up. Holland has spent a large portion of round number one on her back going defense. Still trying to set up that triangle with that wrist control, but too much pressure by Michelle Old. Closing stages of round number one. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes. Morning from referee Keith Peterson to Michelle Old. Watch the rake of the eyes. Thirty seconds left. Mina Holland not doing enough to turn the tide of this fight. Holland trying to throw right hands into the body. Trying to walk up the triangle again. Couldn't find it back to close guard. Final seconds of round one. Old continuing to throw from this top position. We are headed to round number two. Inadvertently, when, when you're coming up, when you're coming down, you can't head head to head, okay? Be careful. I know, be careful. To the corner of Muna Holland. I wonder for a head coming up and down. And I'll just be careful with the back of the head, okay? I know when you're on the bottom. Listen, you lost that round, okay? Ocean. But she's very tired, okay? Right. Now, when you get position, you have your head in the right position, everything, throw your knees, don't be scared. Right. Let loose, okay? You go to the ground, you go to the ground. Let loose. Give us something to think about in the stand up. You got an uppercut up the middle, you have your head in that position, boom, boom. Not one, many. Okay? Ocean. And knee kicks in there, and then break off and hit. Okay? Let's get mean now. Ocean. You lost that round. We can't lose this one. Let's win it, okay? Ocean. Three judges scoring cage side for the state of New Jersey. Show me how did you see round one? And the only way you could see it, I thought 10 9. Michelle Old, not right. a 10 8. Didn't do that right. kind of damage. Fight. Definitely a 10 9 round. Without a doubt, Holland's corner reiterated this. Muna Holland wants to keep this fight standing from this point forward. In her corner, Tiger Shulman. I've trained with him before. Great stand-up coach. He was dead honest. You lost that round. You can't afford to lose another one. Like what he said, not just one, throw many. Faint on the jump knee from Michelle Old. Low kick by Holland did not land. See Holland crouching down, coming forward. Old fainting with the uppercut. Trying to keep those hips low. Stay away from the takedown. Looking for another head and arm throw. She got it again. Man, great job with that head and arm. Tenacious. Back to the ground goes Muna Holland back to her back. Holland out of the open guard. The problem is she's not showing a lot of versatility off of her back. She keeps going for the triangle. But you got to keep your opponent guessing over the armbar, triangle combination, sweeps. Don't let him know what's coming. You keep going back to the same submission over again. You hear uh, Old's corner yelling, watch triangle, watch triangle. So that's all that Mina Holland's going for. Old throwing hammer fist to the stomach. These days in MMA, man. Guys and girls, they know a lot. There's that triangle. There is the triangle, finally. Not sunk in. She's out. Going for it again. Old trying to stay very active. You see the high posture, though, from Michelle Old. And the reason she keeps going for that is the posture of Michelle Old is very low. Posture kills the triangle. Your head up, the chest is in the right position. You're not going to get triangle, but you see here, her head's low. It's easy for Muna Holland to control that wrist and go straight for the triangle. That's why she keeps going for it. Dan Seven versus Hoist Gracie for you old schoolers. Hey. Dan Severn went, hey, what is this I'm in right now? I can't breathe. I think I'll raise up even higher. I think I'll raise up even higher. Little knee to the butt. Oh, nice right hand over the top. Michelle Old needs to keep busy. Old just windmilling her punches. Holland looking to sweep and she couldn't find it. Good base from Old, even with those windmill strikes. No, not doing damage, but what she's doing is staying so busy, the referee does not have a reason to stand it up. Stay here, stay busy, stay active, work your game. Don't let the referee be a factor. And so far, he hasn't been. 
Again, the storyline coming into this fight. Old saying she's a grappler first in MMA, wanted to get this down. Holland saying she's a striker first in MMA, wanted to keep this fight standing. 85, what, 90, maybe 95% of this fight, Jimmy, on the ground with Holland on her back and Old on top throwing punches off of her knees. The problem is, Una Holland is throwing from her back. That's never gonna be effective against someone who's throwing from the top. The person on top is just gonna have more juice on their punches. You have to use those flurries. If you strike from the bottom, it's, it, it's a distraction. Get some space and get up or go through your submission. You're not gonna knock somebody out when you're on your back and they're on top of you. It's we'll try to step over in the side control. To the open half guard. guard of Holland. With 25 remaining in round two. She has to win that battle with the right hand. More right hands from Michelle Old. Largely in round number one, Jimmy Holland was stuck against the base of the Bellator cage fence, and that's largely where she's been stuck here in round two. You just can't posture, you can't shrink when you're stuck in this position. You cannot, it sucks. And that's the, what I meant about the battle with the right hand. You see how Muna Holland got her left arm underneath the right arm of Michelle Old? That's gonna let her power up and get out if she gets back to full guard. And you see the knee to the thigh, the right knee thrown by Michelle Old. Old trying to stay active, she does not want to have this broken and then stood up by referee Keith Peterson. And she's done a good job, I like her energy so far, she hasn't faded, she's been busy this entire fight. Little Sakuraba there from Luna Holland. And double punches to the ears to no avail. Oh, continuing the work. Holland trying to stay active, but stuck largely on her back. A lot of heavy top pressure from Michelle Old. Closing seconds now of round number two. Old continuing to try to get off with the left hands and the right hands. And we'll go to round three. See that head and arm throw. That's been the bread and butter for Michelle Old right here. Has a head and the arm. Bang, throwing her right to her butt, and she stayed on top of the entire time. That second, the first two rounds, actually. No space, no excuses, no chance for the ref to stand it up. You just heard the seconds out whistle. Women's flyweights, 125 pounders, and there is Jessica I, an emerging female fighter of 125 pounds. We will see her when Bellator is back in Atlantic City on December 7th. They're named Evil Eye, it's punny because she's one of the sweeter people I've ever met in or out of this sport. It's a very punny nickname. Here we go with round number three. Jimmy, how do you see it thus far? How else can you see it? 20 to 18 for Michelle Old. She's controlled the first two rounds. Nina Holland is not able to get her game on. Kick attempt, spinning back fist attempt by Old. The problem is she's in a position now where, you know, if Michelle Old stays on her bike, angles, she can give away this round. Still win the fight. I mean, you generally don't want to do that. You never know how MMA judges are going to score it. But she knows she's ahead. She doesn't have to risk anything in this third round. Rubbing overhand right by Holland. Old said she felt that was the best part. A nice Short right. Left. A right then a left getting through is Luna Holland. And missing with that overhand right. Head kick, glancing off of the cheek. You see who has the power in the stand-up, and it's Muna Holland. Holland, no doubt, just relieved to be on her feet and not on her back. Trying to take full advantage of the stand-up position. Good step in right by Old. Holding and a clinch. Setting up for a head and arm throw. Nice turn by Holland, and then she backs out. This Caesars crowd really getting behind Luna Holland. Overhand 
left by Holland, but it did not land. It pulls out back on the bicycle. Oh, great outside trip. A slick level change outside trip from Michelle Old. Just where she wants to be here in round three with 320 remaining. And exactly where Luna Holland does not want to be. And she's kept the pressure on the whole time. Fighters in the center of the cage. What Muna, I'm sorry, what Michelle Old has to do from here on out is throw those punches. Don't let the referee stand it up. Stay wary of that triangle. She can have the upset win here. Hold a lot of top pressure. You see the close guard of Muna Holland. Right hand in the left, short counter right from flat on her back goes Muna Holland. It's so difficult to land anything, at least with power on your back. You can land, you just can't get the torque. There's no hip in it. You cannot. Reverse hammer fist. Muna has, Muna has to sell out and get up. You see that tight closed guard? You can't submit him. Sell out and get up. Initiate a scramble is what I mean. Turn your hips, power up, and get back to your feet. Because so far, you know, hitting back on somebody who's on top is a waste of time. If you're not using it to set up a scramble, I don't advise it. More shots from the top for Michelle Old. You still see the closed guard of Muna Holland now open, closed again. Old would be very happy to finish this fight in exactly this position. And old as she did in round one, as she did in round two, trying to stay very active, throwing a lot of strikes from her knees from this posturing position so referee Keith Peterson does not stand the two fighters up. Really heavy top pressure from old. Yeah, she's very good at that. She changes it up well. She goes back to posture when she needs to, just like this. Double hammer fist from the top, then an elbow to the stomach from Old, getting a bit more creative here in the closing stages of this fight. Owen trying to sit up, she could not find an escape. Now, I just see a lot of ground and experience here from Una Holland. She's gone for that triangle a few times, but it's, it's been a one-dimensional attack. It's been the triangle or landing punches back, which isn't going to help you from here. Good lefts. Old continuing to throw. She's not going, you know, foot on the, uh, feet on the hips to relieve the pressure. See, from here, she's going to that defensive half guard, put that shin across her stomach, and she's not doing that right now. She's 35 seconds away from an upset win here is Michelle Old. Owen trying to throw those short, sharp elbows to the head from her back. And again, just difficult to generate any power from that position. Flat on your back. Owen is certainly discovering. And Michelle Old's complaining about her grabbing the hair. There's a lot of it. Final seconds of this fight. Michelle Old on top, throwing punches. Holland on the bottom, trying to answer back. Old wanted it on the ground, and the vast majority of this fight spent right there, and that is the end of three rounds in 15 minutes. Man, my hat is off to Michelle Old. She said, this is the kind of fight I want, and she fought it. Great job. Take a look, see look at some of those takedowns. They were great. Round number one, the head and arm throw got the clinch, turned her hips and committed to it. Went straight to the full mount, lost the full mount, but stayed on top the rest of the round. Round number two, more of the same. We see it here, that beautiful head and arm. Shifting her hips, staying on top. Round number three, changing it up. Look at the level change, outside trip. And that was all she wrote for round number three. Beautiful job. Jimmy, on your unofficial final scorecard. 30-27 for Michelle Old. She kept that fight right where she wanted it the whole time. Beautiful job. The two fighters now forced to wait. Three judges scoring this fight. Cage side for the state of New Jersey. Their scorecards are being tallied as I speak. See the ice pack on the left thigh of Michelle Old. So much of this sport 
especially modern MMA in 2012, is implementing your game plan. There are too many ways to win, too many ways to lose. Keep the fight where you have an advantage. Old felt her advantage was on the ground, and that's largely where this fight was spent. And she was right. I mean, Muna Holm threatened a couple times with that triangle, but really didn't have much of an answer for the ground attack of Michelle Old. It's really a look of resignation in the eyes of Muna Holland. No, she, it would be a robbery if she won this fight. It would be a robbery. I don't mind saying it. Not that I haven't seen robberies. Jimmy, you and I have done, what, 1,500 fights together? One lesson that we've learned out of many, the longer it takes to tally the scorecards in the three-round fight, the more likely something strange yeah, something about is about Something's bad, yeah. Not sure what it could be here. See Jeff Blatnick. One of my favorite people in this sport, a gold medalist, super heavyweight level, 1984 Olympics, Greco-Roman wrestling for the United States. Truly one of the best judges now in our sport of mixed martial arts. We're lucky to have him from wrestling. Let's end that all suspense with Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we will go to your judges' scorecards. All, th pardon me, your first two judges, Ricardo Almeida and Michelle Augustin, both score at 30 to 27. Your third and final judge, Carlo Urso, scores in 29 to 28. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Michelle Ticat. Oh! She had a game plan, she implemented her game plan, and she got the victory. The winner by way of unanimous decision, Michelle Old defeats Muna Holland.